Moving on, a cross-section of Kenyans have expressed varying reaction over the current opposition-led street protests, saying they are uncalled for. This as security continues to be beefed up in various parts of the country in anticipation of the demos. Security has been beefed up in various parts of the country amid the anticipated Asmilo Moja coalition protest. In Meru Town and Makutano Shopping Center, anti riot police officers from Meru Police Station were seen patrolling the streets. North Menti MP Rahim Dawood has warned the locals against participating in the protests, which have since been declared unlawful. <laughs> This even as businessmen remain worried about incurring losses during the protest, urging for calmness from the public, noting that the protests have subjected them to losses. The prices are generally higher across the globe, and it would be very, very difficult for the government to actually land that bag of maize here at, at uh, less than 6,000 shillings. It's unfortunate for us to have shut down our Nairobi stores, our Kisumu stores, and uh, during a month, it, it, that loss, where we already have bought fresh goods and all that, is unfortunate and uh, we'll not like to, to see that uh, uh, possibly going on. In Kakamega, the youth are calling for inclusivity through a youth policy which they say will compel the county government to prioritize their employment, arguing that if engaged in constructive activities, they will not be available for protests. That the only way we can even deal with maandamano is by employing young people. We have more than 70% of the young people are unemployed. If you employed on Sunday those one million youths, on Monday, Raila Odinga will not be having youths in Nairobi in Amanda Mano because all of them will be in offices. Trevor Nindo for Lunchtime News.